What's up everybody, this is Quet, and in today's video we're going to be doing a code counter called Who Likes It. Uh, I think I tweeted this out a couple days ago on my Twitter account, uh, the solution to this. I did it as a warm-up before a coding interview, um, I just wanted to kind of get my mind going in coding. Because I was looking to do some type of algorithm challenge, I just wanted something to get prepared for it. So if we can stop iTunes from opening, cool. So um, yeah. So essentially, what the Kata does is it l takes in an, an array of strings, and um, those strings are gonna be names of people, and it comes back and it tells you uh who liked your post pretty much. So it's supposed to kind of mimic Facebook's like system and say so and so likes this, uh, these two people like this, and if there's a you know, more than four people, then we should return the first two names, and then just how many other people uh, like the post. Um, in this case, we're just using this instead of this picture or this post or whatever the other this comment. Um, I guess just to keep everything consistent. So with that said, uh, let's get into it. So of course, I pseudo coded this out to begin with. I kind of misread the instructions at first. Um, just slightly, um, there's a little bit of, it's a little tedious in this, um, this card is a little bit tedious, but not, not so much. So, um, I made some mistakes at first, but after reading it again, I was like, oh, okay, this, this isn't too bad and made this changes I need to make. So first I'm going to make this arrow function just because I can, I like the way it looks. So cons likes equals, and it's going to take n names. Okay, and then from there, um, we're gonna I'm gonna use conditional statements because just trying to get this done really quickly, the best way for me to do that was using conditional statements. So I'll say whenever you get some type of code challenge or basically anything you're doing when coding, do what works. Do what comes to mind that you know is going to work. Um, you know, if you want to take some time to think about it and kind of uh go over ideas in your head, maybe the second or third solution maybe is better for you and you do write a, a really good solution to begin with um but if you can't or you just need to kind of write it out write out something that's going to work and then refactor it you know there's nothing wrong with writing something out you know making making a for loop and then coming back and doing and mapping over an array or something like that so uh, with that said i just use conditional statements to get this done so um yeah, what I what I thought was okay. Well, I need to look and see what's inside the array. How many indexes are there? So in order to do so, I'm just going to use name style length to see how many um, names are inside of an array, and from there I know what kind of message to uh to print out. So the first thing we need to look for is no one liking the post, and so with that, if names that length triple equals zero. Then we're going to return no one likes this. And I believe in a post that I um, put on Twitter, I had everything kind of with this whole format where everything was on different lines. Uh, I think it's a little cleaner if we just clean that up and keep every conditional statement on one line here. So here we're putting um, no one likes this. Next, else if, I don't know why I did if else, else if names that length is equal to one then we need to return and we're going to use string interpolation here names at the zero index which will be the only index available likes this then if else names that length is equal to two and you're gonna see this is gonna kind of uh, be a pattern with these conditional statements but here we're gonna return names at the zero index and names at the first index let me see clean this up a little bit um, 
Okay. My name's at the first index. Close this one out. And we're going to put uh, like this. Else if on the next condition, if the length equals three, then we're going to return names at the what is it? The zero index, comma, names at the first index and names at the second index like this and then we have our last conditional here so in the last test that we have here we have four indexes in our array well yeah we have four indexes in our array and um i think i've been kind of saying this kind of weirdly because i was like at the first index even though it's technically the second index but um at the <laughs> when i say that of course i mean at the the one index and not literally the first index um, but here, if um, there's four more um, indexes in our array, we want to return the first two names and then how many other indexes or people, um, names, whatever, are left. So um, here, I'm, I'm just going to say else if um, names that length is greater than or equal to four, because um, this is just going to work for whatever else. So I'm going to put return. I'm going to just make everything match up here. Um, and we're going to put names at zero. Um, names at one. And here we're going to put names.length minus two. So the reason that we're doing this is we want to get the number of other people that also accommodate. So names that length. So if the example is four, um, names that length equals four, but then we already listed two names, so it's only going to be two others um, that like this post. If there's ten people that like the post, we name the first two people, and then names that length is ten, and um, since we already named two, we subtract that, and then we have eight other people that like the post. So um and what were the two others like this all right and here i actually forgot to put uh curly braces around this so it's a little off so now we should be good to go um let me clear line seven and we run our sample test and it looks like i made a mistake somewhere so this if else statement for three or more. Um, we're returning names. Uh, I have a back tick right here, and I think that's just throwing everything off. So let's rerun it. It looks like something is still wrong on the fourth example. So names at the zero index, I don't have the closing thing here so sometimes i'm thrown a little off in one of these code work outers because it's not set up like my text editor where everything is color coded perfectly for me and i can see if i'm missing a bracket or missing you know some if the syntax is messed up slightly so if all the brackets being white i'm a little thrown off okay and we passed most of our tests we have a few mistakes here like i said this one is very very it's it's pretty tedious so um we're supposed to have Jacob and Alex like this. We have Jacob and Alex likes this with an S. So uh, let's get rid of that. And on this one, we're supposed to have Alex, Jacob, and two. I forgot a whole word here. So type others, and we should be good to go. All right, there we go. So we passed over all of our tests here. So this counter, um, for me uh now where i'm at was pretty simple it didn't take too long for me to um do it i you know less than 10 minutes i think um yeah i started this really quickly before an interview and i had 15 minutes before the interview started 
I finished it in about 10 minutes and then dialed in. So uh, I even tweeted before <laughs> before I went to the interview. So um, I did this pretty quickly and um, it was pretty fun. Um, like I said, it was a little tedious, but it's just good to be able to um, just kind of take a card or open it, think about it, think it through and just solve the solution. Um, so yeah, definitely, I would definitely encourage you, um, if you're watching this video and you're not doing cutters, you're just kind of seeing, you know, what I'm doing with it, definitely just dive in and do them. Um, they're a lot of fun. You'll definitely see improvement. Even if you start off and you're, you know, you're struggling with level eight cutters or whatever level you're on with your cutters. Um, and it's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm struggling with it. You'll see after a while that they start getting easier and you start doing harder cutters and, um, you'll just see your improvement over time. So I definitely recommend doing them to anybody that's a developer, um, especially if you're um, looking to make a career switch um, into being a software developer. I think these are a really good tests to get you thinking like a developer and um, with the way that interviews are conducted, um, they can also help you with uh, preparing for interviews. So with that said, um, I would like to thank everybody out there that subscribed to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. You guys have been amazing. Um, I've definitely been able to um, help a lot of people on their coding journey. Um, and with that said, if you're not a subscriber, I greatly appreciate it if you did subscribe to the channel. I would love to um, you know, have content here for you to enjoy. And also it helps me get into the, um, in front of other people that are looking to um, get into software development or improve their software development skills. And um, I would like to help those people out. So um, that and also liking this video uh, makes, uh, makes a good impact on uh, me being able to help more people. Um, and with that said, that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.